Hey everybody, it's time again for another tutorial, but first off, no, I did not cut my hair. Um, for the ones that do not know, I often wear wigs uh, in my videos just because it's fun, because I like it, and it's, again, a fun way to change up my look. And for the ones that do know, yes, I'm actually growing out my hair. It's for a project that I'm gonna do uh, this year, or more of a personal project, and I need long natural hair. <laughs> well, not long up till here, but I need my hair to be um, a lot longer. And uh, it's, it's for a special effects makeup look, actually. So uh, I'll, up, I'll update you guys when <laughs> the time is there for that special project. Before I forget, this is a full face tutorial. I get questions about doing full face tutorials a little bit more, so um, Here's another full face tutorial. So if you want to know how I did this look, then you know what you got to do. So as always, I started out with my Urban Decay Primer Potion and I applied that with my ring finger all over my lid, in my crease and on my brow bone. And then to give myself an even canvas to work on, I used my Studio Fix Face Powder in NC45 by MAC with a taper blending brush by Sugar Pill and applied that all over my crease up till my brow bone. Like I said, this is gonna help me blend out my colors and it gives me an even canvas to work on. And the first eyeshadow I'm going to use is called Morocco and it's an eyeshadow by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I will be applying that in my crease with a 217 blending brush by MAC. And as always, I'm using windshield wiper motions to blend everything out nicely. Next up, I'm actually going to use my contour kit uh, by Sleek and I'm going to use the darkest shade and I will be applying that with a 286 brush by MAC. And then again, I'm applying that in my crease just to give my crease a little bit more definition. It's kind of like contouring your crease, if you get what I mean. And now I'm taking a little bit of that Studio Fix face powder again and apply that all over my lid using a large Morphe eyeshadow brush. And I'm using stippling motions and swiping motions to get the most color payoff. Next, I'm going to use my MAC Whisper of Guilt Extra Dimension Skin Finish and I will be applying that right underneath my brow, so on my brow bone, with a concealer brush by Royal Langnickel. And next, I'm going to use my Kat Von D Puro Amour Autograph Pencil and line my lower waterline with it. And next, I'm going to use my trusty Catrice Liquid Eyeliner in Dating Joe Black and create a small winged eyeliner. Remember, this is just a simple look, so a small winged liner is just perfect. And it's gonna help me uh, blend or disguise my false lashes. Speaking of lashes, I'm going to apply my false lashes off camera. Don't worry, I have a separate video listed below in the information box on how I do that. But the lashes I'm going to use for this look are called Wispies and they are by Ardell. Next, I'm going to finish the rest of my face. So I already cleaned my skin, now it's time for my moisturizer. And the one that I'm using is by the brand Formula 10.0.6 and it's called the Seriously Shine Free Mattifying Oil Free Moisturizer. I know, right? It's a mouthful. And as you have seen, I've applied that all over my face as my base. <laughs> Okay, for my first foundation, I'm going to use the Kryolan TV Paint Stick in Lin, so L-I-N, and apply that all over my face. I personally like full coverage foundation, but of course, you can do whatever you want to do. So once I've applied that, I'm taking my damp beauty blender and blend everything out nicely, or evenly, actually. And that's the easiest thing to do with this foundation. I swear I've never had a better foundation than this. Next up, I'm going to use another foundation, and it's the same foundation, only a different shade. And this shade is called Chinese. I know, don't ask me why they do that, it's just a thing that they do. And I'm applying that all over, well not all over, <laughs> mainly in the center of my face, as you can see right here. I do this so I can get the perfect shade of foundation, because I'm taking in account my... Um, 
you know, the shade of my neck and the shade of my actual face since it's a little lighter. And when I blend that together again with my beauty blender, it's going to look perfect, at least in my opinion. Then to highlight, I'm going to use another foundation stick and uh, this one is called G165. And I'm mainly applying that right underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose and uh, on my chin. And then again with my beauty blender, I'm blending everything out evenly. Like I said before, you don't have to mimic this process. This is just a personal preference. Okay, now to set all of this, this hot mess, <laughs> I'm going to use the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Banana. This shade actually works for my skin tone, but obviously you can use whatever you want to use. And I like to use this powder uh, only in the center of my face. This is just a personal preference. Also, it kind of gives off a yellowish tint because it is the banana powder. So I like to use that in the center of my face and uh, also to highlight myself. And for the rest of my face, I'm using a translucent powder by Essence. And with a large powder puff, I'm applying that on the perimeter of my face, so the larger areas. And yeah, I let that set for about five minutes and then I wipe it all off with a large powder brush and I continue my routine. So now I'm going to use the MAC Deep Dark Mineralized Skin Finish Natural and I'm going to warm up the rest of my face. And I'm just using a powder brush by Morphe to do so. It's just like contouring my face, only it's not creating any dimension. It's just creating warmth, if you get what I mean. And then as always, I'm using my trusty sleek contour kit and I'm going to use the darkest shade and um, yeah, contour my face using a angled contour brush by Nanshi. Um, yeah, I still haven't found a replacement sort of say for this contour powder just because I love using this shade but I will definitely keep a lookout for uh, your recommendations because I saw some of you recommend some products on my social media accounts. Okay time for the highlights. I'm going to use my perfectly poised mineralized skin finish by MAC. This is actually limited edition um, and a cheap fan brush I bought at a local store and apply it on my cheekbones and a little bit above my brow. Of course, you don't have to use this product. You can use whatever you have laying around. Oh, you thought I was done? Nah, -uh, you didn't think I was gonna leave my nose untouched. I'm going to use my MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Whisper of Guilt and apply that on the tip of my nose and on the bridge of my nose. And after that, I'm also gonna apply a little bit on my Cupid's bow. And I'm using a Royal Lang Nickel Concealer Brush for this. So for my blush, I'm going to use a Milani Baked Blush, and this one is called Rose de Oro. I hope I pronounced that right. And apply that first on the apples of my cheeks, and then softly blending it up with a Nanshi Buffed Base Brush. This is like that highlight I applied before, you know, that um, limited edition one on crack. I'm telling you. On me, it's that highlight, but then on crack. <laughs> but in a good way, of course. And what you see me do now is just spray some water, literally water all over my face to get rid of that powdery look. And then with a fan, I'm just, you know, blowing myself dry. <laughs> Finally, it's time for my lips. I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Persimmon. I hope I pronounced that right as well. And yeah, I'm just applying that on my lips. And after I've done that, I am finally done with the look. So that was it for the look. As always, I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Again, if you want reviews about certain products, you can always comment about it below in the comment section. <laughs> oh, and as always, you can follow me on my social media pages by just typing in Makeup by Namisa on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And as always, thank you for watching. I love you. <laughs> and until my next video, bye.